Hi, I'm Artifacts of Mars. I was hoping this story uh, wasn't real, but it is. It's right here in Scientific American. That what they've done is they've taken uh, chicken embryos and human, something called human organizer cells, and they've grafted them together to create what well, essentially are chimeras. Technically, it's not a hybrid, per se, but... Like I said, that's all technical stuff. This is so grossly unethical, it's beyond pathetic. First time researchers have watched human organizer cells direct the formation of an embryo's top, bottom, front, and back. They did so by developing techniques that sidesteps Restrictions on research with human embryos, meaning they uh, avoided the rules, by grafting human cells onto chicken embry embryos. The method published on 23 May in Nature could supplant the use of human embryos in some laboratory experiments. Organizer cells were discovered in 1924 during a series of experiments in Germany on salamanders. A pair of developmental biologists transplanted cells in the back of one salamander embryo onto the front of another where the cells grew into a second conjoined salamander. This suggests that cell certain cells on an embryo's back can organize their neighbors into complex arrays of structures that make up an animal. Ah, great. So, let me get this straight. Be a human on one side and a chicken on the other, so I can't deal. This is sick. Since then, researchers have identified organizer cells in the embryos of many other s species. Scientists have never observed such cells guiding early human development. Ethical guidelines and laws in many countries including the United States, prohibit scientists from experimenting with human embryos more than 14 days old, which is about the time the organizer cells will be likely to appear. So they've gone around uh, the ethical guidelines, which means they're unethical. No one knew what happened after the ball of cells attaches itself to the uterus, says, it's called a zygote, you moron. It says, Ellie... Driven low, a developmental biologist at the Rockefeller University in New York City and lead author of the latest study. In 2016, Riven Lowe's group was first grown human embryos in addition to the 14 day mark. But the researchers halted the work before the point at which embryos begin a complex reorganization that leads to growth of limbs and organs. It did not see organizer cells into, in the human embryos before the experiment ended. In the latest study, the team bypassed 14 day rule by growing embryo like structures from human embryonic stem cells by culturing the cells on small squares just. 22 millimeters across, scientists force the cells onto to organize in the structures instead of spreading horizontally. They also treated the cells with a series of growth factors that stimulated them to form various cell layers seen in early embryos. Tests revealed that embryo like structures include cluster cells that express genes and other species organized as cells. Driven low and his colleagues then transplanted the embryo-like clusters of human cells on 12-hour-old chicken embryos, which are the rough equivalent of 14-day-old human embryo. Researchers found that modified 
embryos grew, the human organized their cells to write to the chicken differentiate and form a second chicken nervous system. That result mimics findings of 1924 salamander experiment. Rivermore says all those hybrid embryos did not live long enough to hatch. Thank God for that. You, sir, are an insane maniac. Unbelievable. Now, the stuff that scientists are doing nowadays scares crap out of me. I'll tell you. Anybody's not scared about this. Yeah, screw loose. Who knows what they're doing? I've heard stories of dogs with human faces and all sorts of stuff. And given the fact that they're uh, making human chicken chimeras by their own admission, you know, maybe some of these wild stories are true. Who knows? Anyway, there you go. Another mad science update. Total insanity from our scientific uh, community. Total, utter insanity. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.